Viewers all over the world, where can we go from this present? Tell your neighbor, I'm in this present. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, we shall dwell on love and uh, forgiveness. How they are related. Love, forgiveness. So today, encouraging words. Let's say encouraging words. Let's quickly look at John 4. Our key note shall be taken from that verse 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, when the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Verse 2. Though Jesus himself did not baptize, but his disciples. Verse 3, he left Judea and departed again to Galilee. Let's go to that, our key note. Verse 10, Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is, who said to you, give me a drink, Take note of that. Who said to you, give me a drink? You will have asked him, and he will give the living water. Hallelujah. This is about the simple Samaritan woman. Jesus did not reject her. Jesus did not what? Because he will never reject anyone who comes to him to be cleansed from sin. He would never. People were asking the same question in a different way. What is the question? Can any sin be forgiven? What we have read here, if you take it from verse 1 to the end, Jesus did not reject her because he would never and never reject anyone who comes to him to be what? To be cleansed from sin. He will never. To support what you are talking about, Mark 3, 28. Assuredly, I said to you, all sin will be forgiven. The son of man and whatever blasphemy they may utter. That is, Jesus accepts anyone who comes to him in faith, even those who previously rejected him. Take note of that. Even those who previously rejected him, say, accept them. Jesus did not reject the sinful Samaritan woman, but rather he showed her love, acceptance, by offering her living water. This means Jesus will never reject anyone who comes to him to be cleansed from sin. Our God gives healing when we are sick. You sick, Jesus will never reject you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Our God gives blessing when we are poor. Amen. You poor, Jesus will never reject you. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Listen, are you barren? Our God says, 
there shall be no buried in the house. Amen. Jesus will never reject you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to me. There shall be no war. There shall be no barrel in the house. You bury, Jesus will never reject you today in Jesus' name. Amen. You troubled one, whatever you are facing. What are you troubled about? Jesus will never reject you today. Amen. Jesus never rejects the sinful Samaritan woman. But rather, he showed her acceptance. He showed her love by offering her living water. Jesus accepts anyone who comes to him in faith. Forget about your past. Whatever you might have said, all sort of thing you might have said, over my dead body, will I go to that synagogue? Whatever you might have prayed, ban, rebuke in the past, Jesus will not reject you today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Don't misinterpret God's silence as rejection. Maybe you might have been praying for this, for that, and you are in haste, in hurry, you need answer, urgent. Tell your neighbor, don't misinterpret God's silence, God's silence as, rejection. as rejection. God's silence may be to reform you. God's silence may be to prepare you for the challenges ahead. God's silence may be to strengthen your desire. Amen. Tell your neighbor, don't misinterpret God's silence as rejection. God's silence may be to strengthen your desire for Him. God's silence may be to reform you for better position. God's silence may be to stop you away in order to move you close to his love and acceptance. Don't misinterpret God's silence as rejection. Let's take a look at the book of uh, Romans 8. I will read just 35 here. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who? No one. I can hear you. No one. Nothing and nothing can separate us from God's love. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Amen. What will make you doubt God's love? Hot full hard time. Facing hatred. Hunger or homelessness. What will make you doubt God's love? What about painful persecution, betrayal by friends or families? What will make you doubt God's love? Or worse yet, your own awful sin what will make you doubt God's love the answer is nothing nothing and nothing 
there is not one thing even enough, ugly enough, heroes enough, deep enough, powerful enough to stop God from loving you. Nothing anyone could possibly do to you can suffer cut that connection. Not Not you could ever do can damn the unstoppable love of God. His love for you is unmeasurable, unrelenting, unceasing, unstoppable, undeniable, unconditional. Who is worthy? Ask the devil, who is worthy? I can hear you. That is a question. Who is worthy of my faith? Who is worthy of my affection? Who is worthy of my devotion? And who is worthy of my time, my money, my possession? Who is worthy of my hand, my feet, my mind, my heart? Who is worth to die for? Go here to jail for. Who is worthy of my giving? My brothers and sisters, church, listen. Worthy is the Lamb. He was slain to receive power, wisdom, strength, honor, praise, adoration. Worthy is the Lamb. I repeat after me. Who is worthy? Who is worthy of my affection? Who is worthy of my devotion? Who is worthy of my Sunday morning? Who is worthy of my faith? Who is worthy of my giving? Who was to die for? Who wants to go to jail for? Who is worthy? Worthy is the Lamb, everybody say. Thank you, Lord. Worthy is the Lamb who was near to receive power, strength, wisdom, honor, and glory. Worthy, worthy, worthy. What is
be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now you want to ask God for his favor and his mercy. Whatever you say here, let it be said in heaven. And whatever we shall do, let it be done in heaven. Ask for favor and mercy of God. Prayer. Mercy and favor. Que tes spectateurs maintenant prier, demander pour la miséricorde et la faveur de Dieu. Priez. Abra sus labios y empieza a pedir por la misericordia y el favor de Dios. Open your lips, whatever unbelief spirit in your heart. Every doubt in your heart begin to break the spirit. Break the spirit in the name of Jesus. Every doubt Toda duda. Every doubt. Toda duda. Every doubt. Tout doute. Unbelief. Incredulité. Incredulidad. Dans votre cœur, commencez à briser cet esprit dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Abra sus labios y empieza a quebrantar todo espíritu de incredulidad en su vida. Quebrántelo en el nombre poderoso de Jésus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When we enter the inner court, holy of holy. When we enter, I would know that is when we can begin to ask. Then the table will be set before you. Right on the table, every essential of life. Right now, open your lips now. Say, here I am. Dites-me voici. Here I am. Aquí estoy. Contact me. Contact me. Oh, Holy Spirit. Contact me. Contact me. Saint Esprit, contact me. Connect me. Oh Holy Spirit, here I am. Connect me. Connect me. Connect me. Connect me. Oh Holy Spirit, here I am. Connect me. Prayer. Connect me. Continue to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Me voici, oh Saint Esprit. Contact me. Connect me. Abra sus labios, confes su corazón y empieza a decir, Espíritu Santo, contacta me. Contacta me en el nombre poderoso de Jesús Cristo. Say here I am. Aquí estoy. Connect me, Holy Spirit. Oh, connect me, oh Espíritu Santo. Oh, Saint Esprit, connect me. Pray. I seem to look at you. Look at me, Lord. Look at me, Lord. Localiza me, Señor. Localiza me, Señor. Pray. That spirit of sickness, that spirit of failure, that spirit of setback, that spirit of barrenness, that spirit of failure, that spirit of limitation, that spirit of limitation, begin, 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 break it, break it, break it, Abra sus labios y continúe quebrando todo espíritu de limitación, de fracaso, de enfermedad, quebrándolo en el nombre de Jesús. Say every spirit, every spirit of failure, limitation, sickness, disease, break it or break it in the name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it. Abra sus labios y continúe quebrantando todo espíritu de limitación, de fracaso, de enfermedad. Quebrantelo en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Ouvre vos lèvres, tout esprit de maladie, d'échec, de retour en arrière, de stérilité, de limitation. Commencez à les briser dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Regardez votre esprit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I command that spirit. Ordenos espíritu. To get out of you. Que salga de usted. I command that spirit. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Say out. Y afuera. I can hear you. Fuera. Whatever spirit, whatever spirit, that is not of God, that no is de Dios, that is tormenting you, que le está tormentando. Say out! Diga fuera. I command the spirit. I command the spirit. I command the spirit. Todo espíritu que no se ha plantado por Cristo, ordenelo fuera. Que que soit l'esprit qui ne vient pas de Dieu, continuez de le faire sortir dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Commandez à cet esprit de sortir. Comienza a ordenar todo espíritu que no es plantado por nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Fuera, fuera en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. In the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus.
whatever you might have eaten through dream cualquier cosa que haya comido a través del sueño from the table of the enemy por la mesa del enemigo that is causing this disease that is causing sickness that is causing marital problems that is causing trouble in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus be flat out begin to flat it out flat it out flat it out flat it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.